Hi everyone, Mike Smith here. I'm just installing WooCommerce on um, a new website on WordPress. So I thought I'd just run through the setup wizard so you can see what happens when you uh, complete a brand new installation of WooCommerce. So let's get started. Okay, so here in the WordPress dashboard, I can run the setup wizard here. So I'll just press that button and off we go. Now this screen is what you would normally get just after you install the WooCommerce uh, plugin. And if you press not right now, it just goes back to the dashboard where I was before. So that's totally fine to do. Um, but for now, let's go through um, and run the setup. Okay, so I'll click this again and we'll just go through it. As you can see, it's optional and shouldn't take very long. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing, your store needs a few essential pages and they will be created automatically if they don't already exist. Now, this may be important if you're moving from a different shopping cart um, plugin. Uh, this is a clean installation, it's a brand new WordPress, so it's not a problem for me, but obviously you have to be careful if these pages have already been created by another, uh, another plugin. Okay, so shop, cart, checkout, and my account. All right, so let's continue with that. All right, now here it's just a location, so it's your locality. So I'm in Australia. I'll do that. AUST Australia. Australia. Ah, oh, we've got Australia um, state by state. Okay, and the reason for that is not so much for currency, but for time. We have different time zones here. All Australian dollar, yes, in Australia we do have sales tax, it's called GST. And I will enter prices including GST. That's the law here. Okay, um, let's see now. So it's going to import that automatically. All states, 10% GST, yep, that's correct. Okay, next page, shipping. Um, this is really just to do with uh, your standard units of measurement. So practically everywhere in the world except for the United States most likely, it'll be kilograms and centimeters. But you may, you may want to go for millimeters here if you're just posting small items. So that's what I'll be doing. Kilograms and millimeters. Oh look, maybe I'll just go for grams there as well. Okay, continue. Payments. Okay, so um, PayPal, PayPal standard, and if you do PayPal standard, you'll need you'll need uh, an email address um, and Stripe. Now, all of these payment gateways you can you can uh, deselect once you've finished this setup wizard. So, so I'm just going to probably not take check payments. Bank transfers is okay. Cash and delivery is also okay. All right, so you select whichever of these that you need. And of course, uh, you'll be able to add more later. Okay, continue. All right, now the storefront. Um, it's a free WordPress theme built and main maintained by the makers of WooCommerce. Look, the main thing with themes is that you want to make sure that the uh, the elements at, uh, at the top, such as the cart and the my, my account, those elements up there are not obscured by whatever theme you use. I'm going to be using a Divi theme and I'll be testing that a bit later, but I'm going to skip this step for now. If you haven't chosen a theme, then maybe storefront is a good one for you. Okay, so I'm going to skip that that step. Okay, it's it's ready now. Um, I'm just going to say no thanks to that, and we're ready to create our first product. So I'll just go to that screen. Oh, you could also import products from a CSV file if you've exported from another site. Um, and over on the right here, guided tours, advice, and learn more about getting started. So I'll just go through to creating my first product. And there we are. Oh, you notice there might be a few um, notices up here to, uh, to um, get you further set up. For example, Stripe needs a little bit more configuration. And it looks like I need an update as well. Okay, so that is running through the... WooCommerce Setup Wizard. Thanks for watching.